What is happening, y'all? This is Gabriel Junction Auto Salon back with another episode of the Dirt Series. It's detailing in real time where I show you various parts of the process between detailing, cleaning, correcting, coating, polishing, all the things that I do here at the shop. My name is Gabe. I've got a dumb thing attached to my head. Y'all are inside there. I'm talking to myself in the shop. All right, we're moving on. Today we are polishing the tail light on an Audi SQ5, Audi SQ5, and everything's getting in the way because I prepared for this. So yes, you can polish your tail lights. I would not polish your headlights unless you just like doing that all the time. Let that UV coating fail, get some protection on it, whatever, whatever you want to do. But if y'all can see this, if I'm pointing the camera in the right direction here, uh, there is quite a few swirl marks and a little bit of buildup inside these uh, these tail light lenses, just like the regular buildups been on this entire car, which has been the bane of my existence for the last half a day. Why am I talking with this inflection? <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, moving on. So we can get that back to good this is a one step correction so we are just going over this one time uh, I have a medium cut pad a Lake Country just a regular mid cut pad and Koch Kimi fine which is their medium polish so we may not get them to be perfect for a one step because that's not the goal but we will get them a lot better than they are and it's just like polishing anything. You gotta clean, you gotta decontaminate, you gotta do all that stuff. Before you do that, you can see that there is buildup left over. On this car, there was very little I could do for that. I just been fighting it the entire way. So now we are going to go over and polish and check our work after. <laughs> to rotate. There we go. Welcome to the party. Rotate. There we go. Yeah, hey, with all these nooks and crannies inside this taillight, sometimes it's going to be a fight to get this thing to rotate properly. It's not that it's not working. Y'all can hear me over this annoying crap. It's not that it's not working, it's just not working as good as it could. Whenever it stops rotating that way, it is still oscillating and doing a little bit of work. Uh, people that are smarter than me in this industry have done that kind of research and show you can lose 20 to 30 percent of the cut or of the work. So you're just going to be here a little bit longer. This damn noise, I feel like I'm in spaz mode and I'm just all over the place. So I apologize for absolutely nothing. We are still doing stuff. Rotate! Thank you. Yeah, I'm sitting here talking to my polisher. So what, you want to fight about it? Am I yelling? This is really loud. Holy crap. Alright. What'd y'all say? I can't hear anything. My lord. Now my hands are vibrating because of whatever the hell was vibrating in these damn taillights. Christ. Alright, we'll get this wiped up. Get that. 
and get this tail light inspected to see exactly what the hell I just did in uh, Captain Vibration here. All right, can everybody see this? Is the class paying attention? We did pretty good. There's some polish and stuff in here that needs to that needs to come out. That's that's normal. Uh, that's normal for me at least. But we did okay. Like I mean, it could be better inside of here, but. For the most part, we did a really good job of getting this cleaned up and getting that. I'm telling y'all, I've been fighting that contamination that's been all over this damn car that's been turning my pads brown uh, for the entire thing. And it's causing some of the correction and polishing to either slow down or be non-existent because it's been so bad. So, that's pretty much it. Well, let's go over... There's some, can y'all, can y'all see that? <laughs> uh, let's go over this section right here again. This seems to have done pretty well for just one pass at it. Uh, I don't like the middle of that. You know what? Let's make some modifications to the table here. We're going to call in the goat. Or we're going to call in the broke. <laughs> Let's get this little guy 100% prepared to do some work here. Hey, y'all are following along with me. That's a one inch polisher. So we're gonna set this thing to rotary mode and slow this thing way the hell down. Last thing we wanna do is completely destroy this freaking tail light and not be smart people. In rotary mode going too fast, that's exactly what you can do. All right, let's try this out. So, slow speed. Slow speed in rotary, meaning there's no oscillation and rotation. It is all rotation this, this way that way whatever okay just slow your girl down here don't get all whatever about it you will absolutely destroy this thing if you don't take it easy Last thing I want to do is call a customer and say, hey man, I destroyed your tail light. I did buy you a new one, but I destroyed the one that was on there. My bad. I love you, bro. Talk to you later. I'm going to get yelled at if I do that. All right. Put a little more polish on the pad. If anybody saw the TV, yes, I'm watching detailing while I'm detailing. If you have a problem with that. Uh, I can give you the number to 911 if that's what you want. I don't care if you have a problem with that. It is what it is, man. I enjoy detailing. Shut up. Alright. I'm trying not to put much pressure on this. I don't want to turn the heat up at all on this tail light. But now it's time to check to see just where we're at. See if I got any more of that buildup out of here. You see how much more of this tail light has been corrected with a smaller pad. So it doesn't look like there was too much more buildup. It was all just leftover polish, which is fine. All right. Check our work. And for a one step, that is awesome. So there's still some there. It's not a whole terrible lot. But we aren't aiming for perfect. We are just aiming for polished and clear. This stuff will all come out whenever I do the alcohol wipe when I'm prepping for the coating. But again, we are good to go for this car. So that's it. That's polishing and correcting taillights. 
uh, on a one-step correction on other cars where we do a two-step or a multi-stage coming up in the future we will do a multi-step correction on the taillight where we are chasing actual perfection in the lens so that's it make sure y'all like and subscribe I'm gonna get back to work on finishing this damn thing see y'all next video Junction Auto out